Hello there, welcome to my bench once again. Hugh here. And in this fly tying tutorial, I'm going to tie up a nymph pattern. I don't know if you ever heard of this fly. It's in the book, uh, The Best 1000 Patterns. It's more or less an attractor nymph. It's called the Carrot Nymph. And probably, as you can see, because of the orange body on this nymph. Uh, it's an effective little attractor nymph. So I figured I'd give this guy a tie for you this time. So I'll get him a device, a fresh hook in, and we'll get started here. Okay, the hook for this guy is a Must Ted 9671, and I'm tying it on a size 12. So we'll get him clamped in here. Get him in the vise. Okay. Now, thread is I'm using UTC 70 and an orange. Calls for orange thread. So, our first step, like always, is to start our thread on the hook here. We'll just go about a hook eye length behind the eye. Oh, getting hit of myself, sorry folks. Almost forgot this guy's weighted, so... I got some .15 lead wire here, and I'm going to put 8 to 10 wraps. I'm going to place those so they're underneath the thorax area. So, we'll make 8 to 10 wraps. Okay. Okay, and then we'll snip off that end here. And we'll come back the other way and make a few wraps. And that'll give us enough right there. Snip that off. Squeeze those together and position them so straight right where you want your thorax to be. You gotta leave enough room in front for your hackle as well, and that's good right about there. Okay. So I'm going to take my orange thread and start right behind the uh, lid here, make a few wraps. Actually, I can push that ahead a little bit. Then I'm going to jump on top of that, come forward, two or three wraps in front, then come back again to secure that lid down. And then just keep wrapping back to just about above the barb here. And we'll come in and snip off that tag end here. Okay. So we're ready to attach our tail. And our tail for this guy is uh, soft hen hackle fibers. So I've got a large hen hackle here. I'm just going to strip some of the uh, fibers off of it here for the tail. Not an overly thick tail, but about, you know, one about, I'd say, a medium sized tail on this guy. So I have my barbels here, and I'm going to measure that up approximately hook shank length, and bring it back. I'll tie that in with a pinch loop here, just like so. Okay, a couple wraps secure that, and we'll come in with the scissors, and I want to uh, snip that so it meets the lead there, right where the lead ends at the back. And we'll wrap that down, secure it down forward to behind the lead here. Just like so. There we go. Then we're going to bring our thread back to right in front of our tail. And I want to make one wrap behind underneath that tail just to prop it up a little bit. And there we go. So there's that. So our next step is to dub our body. Just going to snip that little fiber out there. Okay, and our body is some hairline. Orange. I'm using rust orange. Any orange dubbing will do. So take our thread and put some tacky wax on here. And we'll begin to dub some dubbing on to form our body. Don't want too thick a noodle, but about a medium sized noodle down the thread. Most likely you have to add, make a couple of shots here to fill it up couple noodles so we'll bring that back to right in front of our tail here keep it nice and snug and you want a fairly thick body on this guy so tacky wax once again dub another noodle here okay Fill in that body section. Okay, let's 
wrap this on, see where it brings us on the body. Okay, and a little bit more yet. Okay. And this section will do it. It's better to add a little at a time, as we know, and try to do it on one shebang. There we go. Okay, there's our body. There we go. Now, the next step is our thorax, and that's just black dubbing. And I'm using black hairline plus, and the plus means it just has a little antron, pieces of antron, to give it a little sparkle, and it's a little bit more of a du uh, buggy dubbing, which I like using for a thorax. So, but once again, some wax on our thread. And we'll form a noodle here. And this tends to dub a little bit harder, but it goes on not too bad. And we'll get our thorax formed up here. Okay. Let's wrap this on, see where it brings us on our thorax. And I think we got enough here. Okay, back that off and tighten that up a little on the thread here. There we go. Okay, that looks great. I'm just going to snip off some of these errant guard hairs. Just like so here. I want a few left sticking out. There we go. There's our thorax. Okay, now. Next step is just to wrap our collar and that is simply hen, black hen hackle once again and I have a hackle pair measured out and you want one so that your hackle fibers come back just past the point at, at once it's wrapped on so we'll uh, got those hackle fibers stroked back and the tip exposed so tie it in by the tip like I do on all my wet flies and nymphs so we'll tie him in right behind the eye here on top a couple wraps and we'll fold him back with a couple wraps back like so snug it down and I'll just come in give that a little pull just like so then I also like to come in behind that hackle and just make one wrap behind to sort of prop it up a little bit before I wrap it then move my thread to right behind the eye and that's where I want to position that while I wrap my hackle so next step folks is to uh, Grab my hackle pliers here, and we'll uh, just begin to palm our, or wrap our hackle forward here. So grab that stem, and remember these hen hackles, you got to go easy with them. We'll stroke them fibers back as we wrap forward. There's one wrap. Usually you get two to, oops, hackle pliers slipped there, just got to reattach is all. Usually two to three wraps, generally. Yeah, I'll get one more here. Bring that around, we'll tie that off. So I'm gonna come up underneath this guy, a couple wraps, just like so. And then I'm gonna release my pliers. And that might look like a mess right now, but it, trust me, it'll get better. Then I'll just pull everything back with your fingers. We thread right behind the eye and then start wrapping back to form a head here. Before I go any further, I'm going to find that hackle stem. Reach in and get him out of there. There he is. Okay. Right there. Yeah, he's just a little shorter one. It's harder to get him out of there. So I'll get him. Come in with these scissors. Nice fine points on these helps. I got them using the Loon Ergo Precision Point Scissors. Excellent scissors, I find. Okay, so let's just wrap everything back. Form our head and whip finish, and this guy will be done. Form a nice little orange head on him. 
see how if you like the looks of it everything looks good okay we're bringing our wet finisher here do a four to five turn wet finish and it's a done deal okay there we go we'll come in snug that down and we'll snip off our excess thread there we go snip off that Got one little fiber here and there you have it another size 12 carat nymph okay the last step is to take a little bit of my solarized bone dry and secure them thread wraps on the head there so take a little on a dubbing needle and we'll just come around here cover all the thread wraps just like so and give it a quick set with the UV light okay only takes 10 to 15 seconds here and there we have it a done deal so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial this time and if you have the materials you can get a chance to tie this tractor nymph up and give it a try on your waters not a hard fly to tie at all but I find it a very interesting pattern so I thought I'd tie it up for you guys so anyway thanks for watching and as always if you're a new viewer and you want to see more videos in the future hit the subscribe button I'd really appreciate that a lot and I want to thank my subscribers for watching all my uh, tutorials and until next time happy tying everyone and so long for now folks